God bless you, family. I'm Jessica Mendoza, and thanks for tuning in to this Midweek Momentum. When I was a little girl, my favorite movie was The Wizard of Oz. Do you guys remember that movie? Something about it felt super magical, right? It probably had a lot to do with those ruby red shoes, <laughs> which my grandma bought me, and they were just so awesome. Um, but I, I just remember that movie with such fondness. And when I think about The Wizard of Oz, I can't help but also think about the lion, right? <laughs> that poor lion. Like always just so afraid, so, so um, shrunken down and cowardly. Like he was actually called the cowardly lion. I just wanted to give that lion a hug. He seemed like he so desperately needed a hug. And, um, and he was on his way to the Wizard of Oz, right? And what is the one thing that he wanted more than anything else? Courage. That's what he was going to ask him for. And we are called as Christians to be courageous as well. But what does that even mean to be courageous? Well, I looked up some definitions of that since I'm kind of nerdy. And I kind of compiled a few different ones and melded a few together. And to be courageous means that you are able to act in spite of being fearful or to persevere in spite of a difficulty or a danger. Now, that sounds really good, right? But what about biblical courage? Because it's a little different. It adds another layer onto what I just explained. To have biblical courage is all of the things I just listed, able to act in spite of being afraid, to persevere through the hard things, difficult, unknown danger, but it's fueled by faith. Fueled by faith. I want to look at 1 Corinthians 16, verse 13, 14. Paul says, be on your guard. Stand firm in the faith. Be courageous. Be strong. Do everything in love. It's one of my favorite verses. Just makes me feel good. But sometimes I just don't feel courageous. I feel like I'm falling short of the courage part. I feel like I do a good, pretty good job of acting in love and standing firm in the faith. But sometimes I just don't feel courageous and maybe you don't either. Maybe you're wondering how to bridge the gap from um, knowing what God is calling you to do, but not being able to do it. And my encouragement would be to take a step. Take a step boldly in faith to be courageous and do something for God. Let me give you an example. Something this weekend happened that really got me outside of my comfort zone. Um, I met a woman at this um, event that I was at, and right away when I first saw her, God told me something about her in my spirit. I got this idea of something that this woman was going through, very, very tragic, very personal, very intimate. And I thought to myself, there's no way I can say that to this woman because she's a stranger. And, um, you know, I kept getting that prompting, you need to talk to this woman, she needs you. And I, I kept thinking, you know, I'm going to get slapped in the face if I'm wrong. Or, you know, she's going to laugh at me or walk away or talk to people about me. And the more and more I started to think about it, I thought, you know what? The only thing I really have to lose here is my pride. That's just fact. And so I was able to walk boldly in courage to start a conversation with this woman and I opened the conversation. I said, have you just recently suffered a tremendous loss? And she kind of looked at me funny. And then for the next two hours, we cried together and had like one of the most amazing God times I have ever experienced in my life. And why am I telling you this? It's not to tell you how awesome Jessica is because I am not awesome out at all outside of Christ. I'm telling you this because you may be the only person that can reach someone for Christ. The only person that can speak so deeply to somebody's soul that they have, they have nothing except to believe that God exists because of what you've spoken into their life. So what I have to say to you is you have nothing to lose except the cowardly lion. It's time to be courageous. I know you can do it. God bless you.